This just in, the NFL has solved their recent officiating controversy. Instead of instant replay, Dennis Hopper will be having live acid flashbacks. <laughs> wow. Ladies and gentlemen, from the new series Platypus Man, New York's very own Richard Jenny. Okay, hi, how are you? Good, you sound good. You excited? Winter time in New York. Winter in New York, the only city in the world where Santa Claus goes ho, 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 and three women charge the sled. So, I am so excited to be here. I actually uh, flew here all the way from Florida, from Miami, this morning, just to be here. On a very safe Miami airline flight, because they make all the announcements twice. They have one guy, for your convenience, we have air sickness bags. And then a very happy Hispanic person, El Receptacales de Barfo. Tosso un cookiamos in El Bago de Hivo in front of your face. I'm paraphrasing, but it is a law. Even if the plane crashes, they have to go, Oh my God, we're crashing. Someone else, por favor, quisieras buenos noches. Please quisieras buenos noches at this time. Have your dental records a handy. It's the big enchilada. But... I really wanted to be here because I love sports, football especially. By applause, how many women in the crowd like football? Wow, quite a few, okay. Uh, how many guys in the crowd like little crystal elephants about that big? All right. Not as many. All right, here's the point. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You don't have to understand the game because they always have a lot of announcers. They have people up in the booth. Wearing the headset. Analyzing the action. Boy, look at that hit, Tom. Looks like that guy's lung squirted right out of his helmet. <laughs> You're our $700,000 football analyst. What's your opinion? The other guy goes, that's gotta hurt, Jim. <laughs> I thank you, Captain Obvious. No wonder you're getting the big money. Hey, what do you think will happen in the second half? I think they'll try and get some points right away. Aha! So you don't think they'll try to lose the game on purpose then? No, I think they'll try and win it. That's the mark of the better teams. Oh, shut up! You're watching the game on TV. All the guy has to say is, see that? So did I. Back to you. That's all he has to say. But, thank you, but... You give a guy a microphone, there's no shutting him up. It's... Even the referee in football has his own microphone, so he can humiliate the players every time they break a rule. I don't know if you know... Every time they break a rule in football, they stop the entire game so the referee can click a little button on his belt, activating a giant microphone so they can point the guy out on TV and embarrass him. They stop the whole game, just so the ref can go. The reason we stopped, the reason we're all hanging around in the snow not doing anything right now is because some people don't seem to know the rules. Isn't that right, number 71? 71, I hope your mother's watching. 71. But you can't blame the ref. You would do it if you were him, ladies and gentlemen. Think about it. Put yourself in his shoes. You're a football ref, an ordinary man, 60, 65 years old. You're not making the big millions like the football players, but you got one thing. You got a button on the belt. And you know that all you got to do is click that puppy on, and for the first time in your whole stupid life, the entire country is listening to every word that comes out of your mouth. Boy, if I was him, I'd be stopping the game every five minutes just to talk about my own personal problems. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I'd be right out there going, there was no penalty. This has nothing to do with the game, the players, or the National Football League. I need to talk. <laughs> I can't keep this up any longer. I feel like a fraud out here. I mean, sure, I'm the ref, but who am I to judge these players? I mean, what if I'm wrong? Look at some of the choices I've made in my own life. I'm 62 years old and I'm a friggin' referee. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, lots of times when I'm out of here, I'm not even thinking about football. <laughs> my wife's getting fat as a cow. <laughs> I love my kids, but if I had to do it again, ooh, I'd wear a condom. <laughs> uh, it just all goes by so fast, doesn't it? One minute you're in high school, and the next minute you're watching your prostate like a hawk. 
You mean buddy who says these are the golden years can kiss my wrinkled ass, Buster. <laughs> got hair growing out of my ears. I got cataracts the size of ash trees. I got to pee every five minutes. I walk into a room. I don't know what the hell I went in there for. If it wasn't for Regis, I'd have no life at all. Oh, my knees are getting all bow-legged, which is the one lucky thing, because my testicles are hanging lower every day. God, are those things low. The other night, I got up to pee in the dark and stub my toe on a nut. This is no way to live. Wow, well, I feel a lot better. Better get back to the game. First down. <laughs> hey, great crowd. Thank you.